back burner for other priorities. That's why User Gems released a new signal, Champion Referrals, which is built to automatically surface which customers are able to refer you to your target accounts and facilitate the outreach. Start by inputting your champions in the accounts that you want to sell to. Then User Gems handles the rest. Surface which of your customers used to work at one of your target accounts recently. Create a workflow to automatically ask for a referral. Generate the right message in your email or in your sales engagement platform. Easily create workflows to use customers to generate new pipeline, accelerate open opportunities, or even win back churned accounts. All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to this month's Dig Deeper session. Um, I'm going to start this session off with a quick intro um, because I'm looking at some of the names in the chat and I don't think that we've met yet. So I'm going to do a quick little spiel about who I am and what these sessions are about and what you can look forward to for the rest of the quarter. So first things first, my name is Justine. I work in product marketing here at User Gems. And before I worked in marketing, I was one of our first customer success managers. So I had first helped build up the CS team before moving over to product. So I've seen a ton of our customers onboard, implement. I've ton seen a lot of different initiatives, a lot of different instances. Um, so we created the Dig Deeper session last year. Um, to pick a topic about what are what are our customers thinking about, what's new with user gems, what do they want to learn more about, um, what are some topics that they're bringing to their CSMs, um, and then we just do one 30-minute session completely dedicated to just new features, what's access, um, it's newly accessed for customers. Um, and then we have a lightning lesson, and this month is on our new signal called Champion Referrals. So in these sessions, what I do is I will release an entire playbook of how we use something or do something with our user gems product um, or what's been popular with other customers so that you're able to take it back um, and either implement it that day or talk to your CSM about um, adopting a new signal or a new playbook with user gems just to keep making sure that you're on top of everything that's new and how to improve your user gems program. Cool. Um, so quick agenda, we do have a few updates um, in the product world and we did have a new signal launch today. So I will talk a little bit about the launch that we had this morning. Um, and then I will do a quick plug for next month's Dig Deeper. So in September, during our Dig Deeper session, we will be going over our newest signals um, intent and multi-thread and I will talk through how to stack signals. Um, so. RSVP for next month. But this month, we are going to talk about our new signal that we launched in July called Champion Referrals. We've been using it internally. We've ran a few beta tests. We do have some customers also using it right now. Um, so with all of the learnings that we've had over the last couple of months, I'll share some best practices. And then I'll also share our variations of our playbook about how we are using the Champion Referrals playbook. Uh, but first things first, some product updates. So uh, today we launched a new signal called Intent. We also launched a second new signal called Multi-Thread. And basically what we're doing here is we're allowing our customers who have an Intent provider, so someone like Sixth Sense or Demandbase um, or any other types of Intent tools, bring them to user gems, and then we will be able to make this actionable with people signals. So depending on what signals that you have today, is it new hires, a champion job changes or referrals, we're first able to automate playbooks for your intent accounts and make them very actionable for your sales team. So they're never guessing of what they have to do with intent. Um, the additional item here with multi-thread um, is we will then find the rest of the buying committee. So any other types of relevant prospects for you, we will also make sure that they are being reached out to by sales, make sure that sales knows what to do, what their action is, and we can even automate the whole process. Um, I'll show Slack actions after this too. Slack actions is a really awesome feature uh, where we can generate emails or Slacks directly from, uh, or generate emails or add to cadences and sequences from Slack 
I'll talk a little bit about how that works in one of the next slides. Um, and then just a quick PSA, we did update um, and add some new workflow actions. Um, so if you are a avid user of Salesforce campaigns um, or Salesforce tasks, which I think is maybe a little bit few and far between these days, but it does come up every so often, uh, we do now support that. But first things first uh, is our newest signal, intent. Um, so basically, if you have an intent provider right now, bring it to user gems. Um, really one of the biggest hurdles that I've heard talking to some customers when we were building out this signal um, was that sales didn't know what to do with these intent accounts. So what we're doing here is we're able to build workflows when an account hits a specific level of intent. Um, and we can use whatever people signals that you have to make sure that these are actioned. Um, and then we will fill out the rest of the buying committee defined by you um to make sure that not only are you able to action all of the user gems people signals on these intent accounts uh, add them to sequences notify the sales reps to make sure that they're taking an action um, but we will also automatically find and add the rest of the buying committee to these accounts so that sales does not have to use these outdated databases navigate to linkedin try to find new prospects we're doing it for you with the new multi-thread signal. So we're able to really swarm accounts with not only all of the people signals that you know and love, but also all of the additional prospects that are missing from these accounts. So if you're interested in learning more about that, reach out to your CSM, follow us on LinkedIn. We did uh, put out a new blog post about this too. So you can head over to our website and learn a little bit more about it. Um, but keep Keep tabs on this. Um, we will be talking about it for the next few weeks. Um, and if you have any specific questions about it, you can also reach out to me directly. And come to next month, dig deeper, because we're going to talk about it more. Um, Slack actions. Uh, this was something we released with champion referrals. And I think you'll see why when I show the playbook that we're using. Um, but we've, we've made it possible to complete an action from the notification directly in Slack. So if you're using our Slack notifications now, you might get something that says, um, hey, sales rep, your champion changed jobs and they're now at your target account. Go to outreach and uh, complete your manual first task or whatever their task is um, for that notification. Now they can just do it directly from outreach. So they can either add someone to a sequence directly from that Slack notification. They can view the prospect in outreach and then complete their manual first task if it's already been added through our workflows. Um, and you can also send an email directly from this uh, Slack alert too. Um, so if you wanted to send just like a one-off email, which will come in handy with champion referrals, um, then you can do that as well. This is all live and able to be used with any of the people signals that we have. Um, so if you're interested in using Slack actions in, on top of just your notifications, uh, you can set that up in your admin dashboard or you can talk to your CSM. Quick PSA, and then I will get to the real bones of this, which is champion referrals. Um, but I do wanna let everyone know that we did add two new workflow actions for Salesforce workflows. Um, so adding to Salesforce campaigns and generating a task in Salesforce. Um, so not only are you able to notify your sales rep in Slack, in email, but you can also send them a task in Salesforce if that's how your works prefer to work. Your reps prefer to work. All right. For the bulk of this, we are going to be talking about champion referrals. Um, so what we've been doing here is we have really great tech to f track your champions to their new role. Um, so you can kind of think about champion referrals here as the inverse of champion job changes. Um, so what we're doing here, it's very specific and it's very targeted. You might think of referral programs or some type of like very spammy outreach that is super annoying for your customers. We have made this really, really specific and really targeted. And I'll kind of show you our playbooks of how we execute that. So what we're doing here is we are looking at your current champions that you're tracking within user gems. So maybe some of your opportunity contacts, um, your power users, your product champions. And we can look back to see where they worked before they are at their current company. And then we can automate a playbook to reach out to that person and say, hey, I know you used to work at uh, Seekout. We're actually trying to sell into Seekout. Do you know anyone that could refer us there? 
Um, and we can also suggest a few contacts based on their past title and what department they worked in to maybe even just get their wheel spinning of like, oh yeah, I do know that person. Let me just quickly introduce them, connect them, um, and maybe even make some money off of whatever referral incentive that you already offer. So there's a few different aspects about how this works and we'll go through each one of them step by step. So first is how the platform looks. So how user gems looks um, with referrals and how you build audiences from referrals, how you set this up. We'll kind of go through how to start thinking about the setup of this and then go into the actual action. Um, every signal that we've been releasing has to have some type of an action with it. So first I'll show you how to set it up and then I will show you all of the actions that should go with it. Um, this is where you're gonna see the Slack actions come in. Um, we released group Slack DMs a little bit before our Slack actions too. Um, so I'll show you a few different ways to use our new Slack actions and group DMs to make uh, champion referrals work. Basically, you're gonna have to think about this in a way uh, that's strategic for your business. So for our reps, our customer success manager um, is the primary point of contact for our customers but our SDR team is the one that's tasked with breaking into target accounts. So we're just making the facilitation between those two reps easier to ask for the referral um, and make sure that everyone on the team is on the same page. We do have some customizable templates. We have some playbooks um, to compose pre-written emails. So you're probably thinking, oh no, I don't wanna have to try to get my customer success team into this, into generating pipeline. That's not their job. They have a million other things to do. They're fighting churn, they're putting out fires. Uh, we made it really easy and we have pre-written intro templates for them to just click once and send. Um, and then the SDR can take it from there. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, we released recently suggested contacts. Um, so based on some feedback, um, both internally and externally, that it would make more sense to not only just ask your champion for a referral into their last company, uh, but maybe suggest a couple people for them to uh, introduce you to, um, just to kind of take a little bit of the thinking away and just make it super simple for your champions that already really enjoy working with you. Um, to introduce you to someone else that also might really benefit from your product. Um, so first I'll talk a little bit about some updates you'll see in the actual platform. And this is to build audiences. So um, your reps don't have to come in here and like work through this at all. This is for admins to be able to view what referrals they wanna pass on to um, sales and make sure that it's a very specific strategic workflow um, so that everyone's not just like blasted off into some type of a, a cadence. Um, so what you'll be able to do here in the platform if you have referrals is select the referral um, icon and that will just only show you all of your current customers that have worked at one of your target accounts. Um, so to be able to see these two things and most customers already have this, you will need to have a list of your champions for us and also a list of your target accounts. If you don't have target accounts, you can do things like um, just your ICP accounts or any important accounts that you are trying to break into that year, that quarter, that month, however you're looking at that. Um, and you can upload a report of that and we can look for some overlap between your current champions and that report. Um, so what we're doing here is we're trying to see what of your current customers can refer you into a target account. So you'll see here in this example, I'm trying to sell into on 24, which is one of my target accounts. Um, and some potential referrals that I have are Josh and Jane. And you can see that Josh currently works at Alteryx. Jane currently works at Gong. Both of those are currently our customers um, and they have both previously worked at this target account. And I can see here also that Josh has some suggested contacts. So I can say to Josh, hey, um, thanks for being such a great partner with us at Alteryx. Um, I'm actually trying to break into On24. Do you happen to know Alexandra? Um, can you make a referral? Do you know anyone else there, et cetera? And we can automate that whole process end to end, including that message asking for Alexandra. Um, there's really two playbooks that we've tested out here. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the actions now. Um, so depending on 
what type of motion and who you're reaching out to, you might want to do this in two different ways. And we've broken this into um, a champion playbook and then more of like an influencer playbook. So the champion playbook is number one. Uh, this is going to be more manual. This is going to be for people that you have a very strong relationship with. So these might be your buyers, um, your champions, like whoever your CSM is working with monthly, whoever they're meeting with. Um, and for this scenario, you might want to create a Slack action. And I'll show you what this looks like, where we ask the CSM directly to introduce us to this champion. Um, this is for really high value champions. Um, there is a more scalable play and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I do wanna just get you thinking about kind of some of the different approaches that we offer and what might make sense um, for the way that your orgs are laid out. Um, so the second option here is a little bit more scalable. We have internally tried both of these. Um, to be completely transparent with you, they worked pretty much the same. Um, so in the second, uh, the second playbook here, it's going to be an automated outreach from the SDR or whoever is tasked with breaking into the target account. So whoever owns your champion's past account is who's going to be doing the outreach to the champion. Um, and these are normally for champions where you don't have a super strong CS relationship. Like maybe they had purchased your product and had a stronger relationship with the AE, but like aren't really involved in the day-to-day. -day. It could be more like high product users um, or just some other influencers as well. Um, you will think that the first playbook would perform significantly better and it might in different industries and depending on like how the relationships work with your champions and CSMs, but I can transparently tell you that we have tried both of them. Um, and the response rate for the CSM outreach was obviously super high. Um, but in terms of actual conversion into meetings booked, they both worked pretty much the same. So for that first playbook, for when you're going to ask the CSM for an intro, we want to make this really, really easy for your CSM. We don't want to give them like a whole bunch of stuff to do, and then we don't want to have to have them do outreach after. So we created Slack actions and we are using group DMs in this, this sense. So basically what we're doing here is anytime, let's take, I'm asking Josh still for an intro to On24. I can say um, me, because I'm trying to break into On24. And let's say that Jalen here was um, the, it was Josh's CSM. I can create a group Slack DM with both of us in it and say, hey, like trying to break into On24, can you ask Josh for an intro? And then the CSM can click send email, which will open then in the browser. So this works with Gmail, Outlook, or any other type of email provider that you have. It'll open directly in whatever browser setting that you have connected to your email. And this will allow the CSM to send the email, but also CC the, the SDR on it. And this is really important because we want the SDR to maybe follow up or nudge the email once or twice. So we wouldn't want to put your champion in like a full 50 step sequence, but a nudge from a SDR is totally fine. Just a reminder. Um, and the CSM is likely going to be doing a lot of other things. The SDR being really easily CC just gives them a really easy opportunity to just get in contact with that champion. This is really simple to set up with our workflows and you can set up different um, like throttling options. So you can control the volume of what gets sent to your CSM. Uh, you can do this like a daily amount, a weekly or monthly amount, and you can do this per accounts too. So just making sure that only your best champions are getting asked for referrals in this way. Um, and just making sure that we're using the CSM strategically and just not spamming either one of those parties. Uh, the, the other way that you can kind of do this is by, um, customizing a, another just Slack notification, um, and then just prompting the CSM to reach out. So you can also create Slack actions in directly to an SDR, or you can do the group DMs as well. So totally up to you and totally customizable in that sense. Um, 
the the other route that you can take here is instead of sending them to Slack as a notification, in the same workflow, you can add these champions to a sequence. Um, there are a few caveats here. So we are currently doing this actually in, in our workflow. We have our SDR team reaching out to our champions directly. Um, we have playbooks and they are on our website and they're also able to be Im imported from your user gems account into outreach or sales loft directly. Um, you will notice that they are very short sequences. So it's only three or four steps. Um, we do not recommend putting champions in a very long sequence. And something that works really well for us that we have now tried is adding um, our CSM's name in the initial outreach. And we have that in a Salesforce field that syncs with our outreach. Um, so you're able to mention their CSM in that first touch point and just make it a little bit more personalized. And so they like understand what the context of reaching out is. Um, the last item that I will talk about before I um, go through how much this would cost if you wanted to add this on um, would be to have some type of incentive for your referral or some type of existing referral program. Um, so in terms of like what we are doing, we offer um, a gift card for if someone refers their past customer or their past um, colleague and then they sit for a demo, our champion will get uh, some, some type of monetary value from that. And then if they come on as a customer, then we also give 15% ARR of the first year. Um, that goes for anyone in this chat. So if you know anybody that is currently not an opportunity for user gems and you know someone that would love user gems, uh, you should refer them to us and cash out on our referral incentive. Um, but yeah, in terms of like what we would recommend, it is making sure that these are personalized and making sure that there is something in it for your champion. So whether that's just a gift card for a meeting sat or a meeting book or an intro um, or some type of incentive based on how much uh, revenue that brings in for you, totally up to you. Um, but we do recommend having some type of gift. So I'll talk a little bit about pricing and I will let uh, I will keep an eye on the chat to see if there's any specific questions that come up about referrals. Um, so for customers, if you wanted to add this on, it starts at five, $5,000 for up to 5,000 target accounts. Um, so if you wanted to add more target accounts, you can work with your CSM to scale that up. Um, but in terms of what you're getting here, it's, it's everything that I've shown you. So you would be getting the ability to track your current champions into your target accounts. Um, which are their past account. You would get access to all of the workflow options, all of the audience building, um, Slack notification, email and sequence. So every option that I had shown. Um, and you'll also get our pre-built templates and playbooks. So the pre-built email template that you can send from Slack, the playbooks that you can implement into your um, SCP tool, outreach, sales loft. Um, so you will get access to everything. And then our CSMs are great. They had to test this out. So they are, they know exactly what you're going through and some best practices on how to set it up. Um, but I'm also really open to, to meeting with anybody and talking through how champion referrals might look in your org um, or any other way that you can help make this better. So if you're interested in potentially adding on champion referrals, uh, talk to your CSM or you can email me at justina at user gems and we can talk through what that might look like um, or I can answer any questions one-on-one. -on -one. That is it for me today. Um, so I will stay on. We blew through that in, 20, in 24 minutes. So I'm super proud of myself for that one. Um, but I'll stay on for a couple minutes just to monitor the chat and see if anyone has any questions. Um, but otherwise, follow us on LinkedIn. We are releasing new signals quite frequently. Uh, and LinkedIn is going to be the first place to see it. Um, so definitely hit us a follow there. But thanks everyone for coming. Um, we'll see you all next month in September where we are going to talk about stacking signals. We're gonna talk about bringing intent. We're gonna talk about bringing your people signals. We're gonna talk about multi-threading and how that all looks together um, and how to automate that completely in workflows. So I will see you in September.